I have no idea. Is that filming right now? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Your battery's like almost done. I know. I don't think that's right at all. That's okay though. Okay. Right. So as promised, we're gonna try and get that OBD1 swap video to you guys. So let's go over the list of materials that you're gonna need. We still have. Uh, you're gonna need an Eric for help. So you're gonna want one of those. For sure. Um, let's see. So, materials. Not a lens cap. What are these? Essentials. They're the essentials for yes. life. Okay, so life essentials. What you're going to need to do this OBD0 to OBD1 conversion. Okay, so you're going to need to have a TD41, um, non VTEC distributor, saying you're seeing non VTEC, like this guy right here. For now, it'll go VTEC when the new motor comes in. You're going to need a P06 ECU. This is saying if you're staying non VTEC, if you're going VTEC, get a P28. I don't remember what the distributor is for VTEC applications. I want to say it's a TD42U, something like that. Um, obviously you're going to need the spark plug wires, um, a four wire O2 sensor, uh, that's also important because you will need to wire that in. And then last but not least is you're going to need the ECU jumper harness. Um, I got this off of Amazon, I'll probably put a link in the description below for that and you guys can click on it and help me out. Uh, same with this guy, this is the distributor jumper harness. I was just gonna depin and repin them into like the OBDO into the OBD1 connectors, but that was just too much of pain in the butt, and I didn't want to deal with that, so I just went out and bought one of those. So it should be fine. This is what my friend Fernando did on his B18 swapped hatch, and this works fine, and so does this. So, but oh. Also, the other thing you're going to want to get is this guy or seller. Totally forgot what the brand is of that, but it'll be linked in the description. Um, it includes a pinout chart. Oh, wow, that's not even going to focus. But it includes a pinout chart of everything you're going to need. So, like, where every pin goes to, like, what on the ECU, what every wire does, what color wires go to what. Um, pin so great thing to have so let's get to it we're gonna need to change this this is the distributor we gotta pull it off so that'll be the first thing three bolts so it's super easy if anybody was with me while we were doing this MPFI swap on this hatch it's literally the exact same thing so boom one bolt now well, definitely not in focus. One bolt, two bolt, third bolt's on the back side. It's like under here, right in there. And then you're gonna unplug these two plugs from the main harness, pull these guys out, the spark plug wires, pretty self-explanatory. And then we'll get to popping this guy on. Quick little heads up before you start doing this. I definitely took this super long flathead right here and like almost touched the terminals of the battery. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, now you can see it. Definitely almost just did that. That would not have been a good day. So we just took a, what is that? Spray paint cap, put it on there. Probably should take the battery out. So I may just do that just because I don't want to die today. I want to get this done. So I'm about to pull this distributor off. Got the top bolt to pull out. Something you're going to want to pay really close attention to when you pull these out, besides that it takes forever to pull out this top one, is that that spline, or not the spline, but like the piece that goes into the camshaft, there's a certain way that you have to put it on. And if you put it on wrong, it'll be 180 degrees out. You don't want that. So this little tab right here, so on mine, this little tab is up, so I'm going to make sure that when I put on the new distributor, 
that that little tab is up and it goes on exactly the way this one came out or else I'll be kind of screwed. We have these plugs that we got to connect to the actual harness and it's literally the easiest thing you will ever do in your life. Boom. This one, I hope this is wired correctly. I've seen some of these that aren't wired right, but uh, this one should be wired correctly. If not, then um, we have some issues. But I think it's wired correctly. Seems pretty sturdy. They're brand new plugs. It was like 35 bucks for this. So this should be a legit one. I think the cheaper ones are like 10 or 15 bucks are the ones that are wired wrong. But we'll find out here soon enough. So, got that all taken care of. I think next is just cleaning up a little bit of oil that I have here and then throwing on the new distributor and then we'll go inside the car and do the rest of the wiring. Okay, so basically, after like half an hour of trying to figure out how to do this, you wanna make sure you have a sticker that faces you. Then you can shove it in there. There, it still doesn't fit. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on here. We did it the right way, pretty sure. I'm like 100% sure we did this correct. Cause I'm a mechanic. Trust me. Perfect. And actually, um, real Honda people, they only leave this bolt in. You don't actually need the bottom two. Those are. Um, those actually don't do anything. You really only need this one finger tight, and you're like basically good to go. So, if you ever wanted to know how to do it the right way, that's how you do it. That's how Honda people will. Wait, are you actually for real? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, don't, you don't want to get them. I need the people to think I'm cool. You shouldn't. You shouldn't get them. <laughs> I don't I don't want them to think I'm late. Did you get that here? Spicy. Oh, I can't even fit it in that hole. It's so deep in there. Oh. And it's gone. Yeah, that's okay. Next step. Basically now we're in the car. You're gonna wanna pull up your carpet. And uh once you pull up the carpet, you want to give it to your maid. Here you go, maid. Thank you. You're welcome. And then you'll pull up some more carpet. Ooh. Such wow. And you're going to find your ECU. So, the big thing you have to worry about is your car has to be OBD zero with an MPFI swap. So if you don't have an MPFI swap, you should definitely go check out my how to do it MPFI swap videos. And then you could do this. So I should be able to pull this out a little bit and unplug it. If I can even pull out. Your game's not strong. No, oh, pull out game not strong. I need a screwdriver. It's just kind of hard to get to. There it goes. There's one. So I'm clipping it just like the rest of them. Oh, this one's so much more of a pain, but. So we're using a flat head to just take off the wiring. Yeah, there's like a little tab in the back that you can just turn the flat head over. And uh, if you have a, well, this is not a PO6 ECU. This is a PM6, wherever the heck the code is. Oh, right there. It's pretty good condition, too. Yeah, let me, uh, just open that. Uh, okay, let me get some light on go. that. Mm, PM6, A09. Yeah, there we go. This is, this is a good ECU. Mm. Too bad, like, 
I can't find anybody that'll tune for Brie or Turbo Edit. I'm not that knowledgeable yet. But uh, you put that over to the side because you don't really need it anymore. Save it for like if you have an EF wagon uh, that's DPFI and you want to MPFI swap it, there's your ECU. Now we got our jumper harness here from Amazon. We're going to hook this thing up. Go ahead and uh, so, show, show what, what it looks like first. Oh yeah. It looks like this. Big glob so of like wires. It even, so, comes, it even comes with a little 12 pin connector. So that way you can like hook up VTEC or I think it's like, you know you can hook up your VTEC through this, your O2 sensor and something else. There's a bunch of different things you can do with it, so, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, installation is simple. You just connect this into here. Go ahead and show me the Let's see. Which now, one? is this going to be this easily accessible by any all the other Hondas? Like, is it going to be yeah. right underneath the It the should map? be. Can you go on this way, too? Definitely can't go in that way, so there's only one way you can go in. Missionary. Mm -hmm. There we like go. That. Clip number one in. Yep. So yep. this is pretty much an adapter, right? Pretty much. So, because those that attach, attach to the old uh, computer, and then this makes it so it, it's an adapter to connect to the uh, new computer, right? Yep. Oh, okay. In a nutshell. Where's this little clip at? Oh, this is the little clip. This looks like such a mess. It's because it kind of is. Does it work? Your horn doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Oh no, his battery is unconnected. <laughs> I told Chris the other day, I was like, because I, I thought I disconnected the battery, and I was like, yeah, you could push the horn, it, it, it won't work. And then he pushes it, and then you were right under the, the hood, and you're just like, no, all we gotta do is grab the other ECU. Like the easiest plug, it's probably the super small one. This is like wrapped weird, so it's like in between. Just line her up and plug her in. Yep. That is my favorite Disney Princess movie, actually. A little bit tangled, man. <laughs> <laughs> the little bit tangled man. Uh, uh, tangled, dude. Nice. If I were to hook up with any Disney Princess, it'd be her. <laughs> TBH. Not gonna lie, at least I'm not all the way in yet. There it is. Sweet. All lined so. up in there. Got the adapter wires. Yep. Once you get that in there. You're going to want to take this crap and put it somewhere that's not where the stock one would go. Because if you put it where the stock one goes, then it's like not JDM. So you want to put it to the side, because to the side is like Gangster JDM. style, yeah. yeah. At the same time, uh, those people who passenger, don't they like mess up the wiring when they have their feet against it? Oh, no, I tell them, don't put your feet back there. Oh. See, now you, you'd never know, there's an ECU back there. Cause I got carpet now. Definitely who would put a metal plate right there. Oh, there is one. I just took it off. Oh. What's Chris's favorite food that his mom would make him? What? Her peas. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Alright, so that's the old, old distributor. Old distributor. New distributor. Okay. I do want to use these plug wires though, so. Where these guys go. Thankfully, they were like still in the same spot, so I can just kind of you know, hope that uh, put them all in there. I mean, if you don't put them all in the right way, it just yeah, because it won't fire sequentially. Let's see, this one is 
with the number four. Actually, I think it might be the same for all Honda distributors. We can find that out real quick, though. Oh, that's a good pro tip right here, then. Yep. Is it so all the same? Bottom right. Uh, what is this one? This one is top right. Actually, it might be the same. I think that's the same. You, like, turn it so this little piece is, like, in the same orientation as mm -hmm. the one on here. Like, so like that. It's matched up with that. The four goes right there. The four goes right here. So I'm going to take this guy and pop him. Oh, not there. Pop him right there. You guys didn't even have a distributor on at the moment. How would you know um, it's all... Where does it all go? I Google it. Google it? Yeah, Google it. Okay. Google, Google. Either that or uh, you're just going to have to send it. Send it. Or try to send it and it just won't send. Yeah. It's kind of like when you try to send like videos on like... On Facebook? Yeah. Or, but they're or, like big, 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 big videos. Right. Or good pictures on Facebook? Yeah. Cool. The only reason I'm doing this is because I know... My plug wires are actually in good condition, so um, and like they're they're pretty dang good. They're not old at all. Recap. 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 Okay, so basically we got the distributor on, put on the little distributor jumper harness from Amazon, basically an eBay one. Hooked up the ECU. <clears throat> the P06 ECU to the little OBD1 to OBD0 conversion jumper harness and then connected that to the main harness and yeah that's basically it I know we do probably need to switch out that one wire O2 sensor for a four wire O2 sensor but we're gonna see what happens if we try and start it without one and if we need it we'll wire it in if not, then we won't wire it in until the new motor gets here. So we're going to send it. He's going to send it, actually. Yeah. Should work. Should work. It, it could blow up in flames, I guess. I don't know. Because your uh your clock. <laughs>